14 miles north of the ancient Arabic oasis city Alula lies Mada in Salah, Saudi Arabia, otherwise known as Hegra. This region is home to what archaeologists and historians refer to as a necropolis, consisting of over 100 so-called tombs, structures that are hewn straight out of the rock mountain ranges and massive standing strata. Their construction is considered to predate its northern counterpart, Petra Jordan, and is attributed, like Petra, to the Nabataeans, an admitted nomadic tribe that left little else behind in regards to physical evidence of their existence. Like seemingly everything else in antiquity, according to scholars, this time frame is approximately 2,000 years ago. This on its face begs you to question the mainstream narrative. I agree with one assertion, they were nomads. Nomads who wandered the desert until they came upon these mind-boggling structures. They then decided this was a special place, set up camp and revered their dead by lying them inside, and therefore today they are referred to as tombs. It is my contention they are from another lost epoch of time, however, and their construction is of a long lost technology. We are only seeing the similarities in new technologies that we see today. So what was it? Well, according to ancient Jewish texts, we may have the answer. King Solomon was bestowed the Shamir by the king of the demons as Modius in order to build his temple as instructed by God. The Shamir was either a rock-cutting worm, find that out of the realm of reality? Well, let me introduce you to the South American rock-eating shipworm. Is this prominent engraving at Hegra a depiction of Asmodeus and the Shamir worm? The Shamir was also described as a green cube or being that emitted a glance that could cut stone, like, say, a laser. It was also described as a small pen-like tool with a diamond tip. But what I believe is these are the ancients hypothesizing on an even earlier, more distant epoch of time where some lost technology was used. Perhaps there's a thread of truth to these stories of Solomon that might lead us closer to the truth, a technology mixed with magic and created by the gods. A technology similar to what we see today with 3D modeling and direct CNC machining as depicted in this replica of the Lonely Castle being directly machined through CNC technology.